swastika, a symbol invoking hate, found spray painted on an Edmonton mosque Tuesday. But the Imam of Batul Hadi prefers to focus on the cards and flowers dropped off, saying some arrived at the mosque following the terrorism attack in London, Ontario, killing three generations of one family. Neighbors looking to show the local Muslim community they are loved. Thankful to our uh, neighborhood, and um, we we believe uh, most of Canadians they have this kind of gesture and love and sympathy. Edmonton Police Hate Crimes Unit is being consulted on the case, but police believe the symbol may have been there since as early as April, when similar-looking vandalism showed up in the Otwell neighborhood. I want to give you an idea of how this symbol went unnoticed for some of those attending the mosque. I'm standing here across the alley on an elevated driveway from a neighbor's perspective. But if I walk into the actual alley, you can see it's no longer in sight. And they only knew about it once neighbors alerted them. We have two pandemics that going on right now, you know, COVID-19, of course, and the public health considerations uh, and racism and the impact that racial discrimination has on communities. Hate crimes researcher Irfan Chaudhry says, yes, there have been more reported hate crimes and racism in recent months and years, saying it was rising before COVID-19, but the past year and a half have had an impact. On social media, uh, we have likely just kind of stayed within our own filter bubble, you know, whatever side of the spectrum we might be. And I think what makes that even more pressing in the context of COVID is it reaffirms biases we may have or hold around certain groups. If you don't have a counter narrative to challenge that, uh, you might buy into it. There is a section of the criminal code relating to mischief on religious property that brings harsher sentences. Well, at the mosque... Our uh, holy book, Quran, that uh, repel the evil with your good words and uh, good actions. So we believe in that. They will continue to spread the message written on the front of their building. Love for all, hatred for none. And are just waiting on police to finish their investigation to clean up this hateful marking. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.